Okay, so my name is Sophia Samuels and I am 26 years old. Only fans, a lot of people would think it is sex work because based on what you do, like you said, I'm not selling roses. <laughs> So I am selling content that is meant to pleasure men. I decided to do only fans because I found it interesting. Like I wanted to know if I was able to do it only fans to be honest. I've been doing OnlyFans since lockdown. That's when I started. I thought it was going to be brief, but up till now I'm still doing it and enjoying it though. <laughs> Having an OnlyFans account has been financially good. Not willing to state how much though. I'm engaged and my fiance is very comfortable with it so he had no issue with it though like up till now even though once we started dating once we got engaged like I asked him okay are you comfortable with me still having my page my parents I won't say they like approve or very happy about it but I think they accepting it to say with the fact that okay I'm an adult and it's my life decision but I won't say like they all thumbs up and yes she has her only fans account so with only fans you do get to recognize I had a lot of people, if it has to be, I'm in public, they'll come up to me and they'll either be like, I have you on my page, or I know you have an OnlyFans account. So from with guys, you get no negative comments, very rarely. With females in again, they would be like, how do you have an OnlyFans account? And they would think that you have no respect for yourself. So long term having an OnlyFans, I think it might maybe have complications to the point, okay, when you get married and probably have kids, because your page is always going to be there. So people's always going to know, okay, you had a page. It had no negative impacts. I think that is why I'm not really, not concerned really about it. But so far, if something has no negative impact on me now, that shouldn't give me a reason to like stop what I'm doing. For me, like, yes, a lot of people, I had even comments where people were like, oh, you do sex work, are you a porn star and stuff like that? Like, no, I'm not a porn star. For me, the way I see it is that, okay, I'm busy uploading content and at the same time, I'm pleasuring other people, but also pleasuring yourself because you're enjoying your content while you make it. So it's a win-win for both. That is how I see it. I actually want to become a fashion designer. That's what I studied for. Um, so for the companies that I've worked for, they knew I had OnlyFans and it hasn't had any negative impact. So I think more and more people is becoming open about OnlyFans So I think it depends on the company and probably how open they are to it. But then again, also we can't be thinking that OnlyFans is not going to have a negative impact because everybody's view on it is different. So... So the money that I earn, um, I would save actually, like in the case of wanting to get your own car or house or that. So that is what I'm saving for. So my OnlyFans money is for my future to say or anything that I need 
Um, because besides OnlyFans, I have my own job as well. So it's not always that I use my OnlyFans money. It's just an extra income for me. For me, I love what I do, which other people won't understand. But for me, I, I do love what I do. So for me, if I love what I do, I'm going to continue doing it.